Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be my six weeks postpartum update. I wanted to share with you how I healed and what I've been doing over the last six weeks. So I'm not sure if everybody knows, but basically now I am a stay-at-home mom. I was a full-time working mom. I worked 12 hours a day and I have been off of work since I'm not sure, since right when I first started, started sorry, <laughs> right when I started the um, first, or the second trimester. So, um, yeah, I got to have, you know, a few months, about six months with um, being a stay-at-home mom with just Brody, and now I've been a stay-at-home mom with two kids for six weeks now, and I love it. I mean, it's different, definitely different having two kids. And sometimes I want to pull my hair out, but other times I'm just so filled with love and joy that I just can't even comprehend, you know, it's just amazing. But, <coughs> excuse me, so afterwards, um, in the first few days I was quite sore. I did uh, tear quite a bit, and I'm going to do a labor and delivery video, but I sat down to do it the other night. And I recorded it three times at 20 minutes each, so I wasted a whole hour. And each one was different. They, for some reason, I just couldn't get the times and stuff to jive. So what I need to do is sit down and write it down. I mean, you kind of, you know, things get blurred together. You don't really remember everything. I need to go back and look, talk to people, and, you know, get my story straight. So um, look for that, you know, soon. But basically you know I'm working on it but it will be <coughs> I will be um, <coughs> excuse me posting one shortly I um, like I said I did tear really bad and I had to get stitched up but it wasn't as bad healing as it was with an episiotomy after um, Brody so um, after I had Brody I had an episiotomy and it was about um, a third of the length of this tear and my episiotomy was off to the side so that did make it hurt pretty bad but this one was um, I almost ripped right straight through <coughs> I got something caught in my throat I'm sorry um, it was very very close but um, I had to have quite a few stitches um, and I kept waiting for, I mean, after I had Brody, it was awful. I mean, absolutely awful. I couldn't even sit down. I actually used the boppy pillow for a week and sat on that. And um, I had trouble going to the bathroom. It was just, it was a nightmare after Brody. But with this one, I kept waiting. I mean, I was slow moving and I just like, my knees were just basically glued together. I mean, I wasn't, um, <clears throat> I wasn't opening my legs for, um, any reason for the first week and it made healing a lot easier. I wish that I would have been able to soak in the tub but it, it hurts for me you know to get down in the tub and stuff so I just avoided it and tried to do the least amount of movement and stuff as possible but um, I remember the first few days afterwards just waiting and waiting and waiting for it to get worse I thought, I kept thinking, oh boy, when I wake up tomorrow, it is going to be bad. And I wake up and it was just like the same. It didn't get any worse. And then all of a sudden, you know, I just kept thinking it was going to get worse and it just started getting better. And I couldn't believe that I was healing that quickly and that that's all the more it hurt. I mean, it did hurt, but in comparison to my last one, it really wasn't that bad. <coughs> Neither was my, um, going to the bathroom afterwards either and that was because I was more educated this time around so I was being careful with what I ate and um, I think it was because I let my body you know everything happened naturally all the right hormones were there all the right chemicals were you know mixing and matching so I really think that that has a lot to do with not only labor and delivery but also postpartum I didn't have any um, I really wasn't even tired like you know the baby had me up about every hour and a half to eat and I just most moms are just exhausted and I wasn't even tired 
at all for the first few weeks. I was just like on cloud nine. Um, I didn't get upset. I just felt so, um, I felt so much love. I haven't felt so close to my husband in a long, long time. I mean, we love each other, obviously, and we feel close with each other, but that just has drawn us so much closer together. And then, um, basically, by <clears throat> about 10 days postpartum, I felt great. I felt like almost back to my normal self. And then at two weeks, I, I think I was like completely healed at two weeks, but, um, as far as the way I felt, I remember um, somewhere between, in, at, at like two weeks to three weeks, I was able to um, do things that I wasn't able to before, like bending a certain way or like squatting a certain way, or I was still very careful, but um, at that point, that was when I was starting to actually get down on the floor and play cards with Brody again, or climb in his bed with him, or you know, get in the bathtub and, and that kind of stuff. So, definitely way quicker. And, oh, the bad thing is, now with this pregnancy, um, or when I was pregnant with Brody, I gained 70 pounds. And, approximately, you know, give or take a little bit. And, um, with this one, I only gained 50 pounds. So, I was actually give or take again. I was actually 20 pounds lighter um, when I gave birth than I was when I gave birth to Brody. And as soon as I had Brody, I lost 35 pounds right away. And I thought, well, great, if I lose 35 pounds right away, I'll actually only be, you know, like 15 pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight, and I'll feel good there, so that would be great. Well, after I had this baby, I lost 12 pounds, and that was it. Um, and I kept weighing myself every day for like the first two weeks. I didn't lose anything. I was so disappointed. I mean, I really worked hard through this pregnancy and I did indulge. I mean, I still had, you know, stuff that I wanted. But, I mean, to not gain that last 20 pounds was a lot for me. I felt like I really tried this time. And, um, it was just like, well, I might as well have just gained the full 70 pounds and I would have been, you know, in the same place. So even though I was careful, right now I weigh exactly what I weighed after I had Brody. And that just like crushes me because I felt so good throughout my pregnancy that I wasn't gaining so much and me and everybody, you know, who I was around, I would tell them about it and they were like, oh, you look so much better this time after you had Brody you were huge and you know you're, you're gonna be so you're gonna look so good this time and well basically they said that after I had Brody I was huge and if I weigh exactly the same hello I mean it you know kind of hurts my feelings but I'm a little sensitive after about like probably about the third week that I had Brody now I've never had the baby blues or postpartum or anything like that but all of a sudden I feel like very very sensitive um, about everything. I think um, the worst about everything. I take everything to heart and it's really wearing on me. Um, I don't feel like depressed or anything like that so I don't know, I don't really know what it is but um, like my husband always tells me I'm a great cook and stuff and he's very honest with me so I know that he's not lying and I made like stuffed pork chops and he said something like you know they weren't they weren't his favorite or something and it hurt me so bad like you know would I rather have my husband lie to me no I don't we don't lie to each other ever um, we just it's not that we don't lie to each other we just don't we try not to lie because um, you know, we just try not to, so, um, I don't know, I don't understand why I'm so sensitive, um, I don't, I feel very insecure about my body, and, um, I'm having a hard time dealing with that, but that's like the worst that's going on is my weight, I mean, 
because I, it was so hard for me to lose the weight after I had Brody. And so many mothers out there lose the weight while breastfeeding, and I don't. Um, I nursed Brody till he was 11 and a half months old, and he quit nursing on his own because um, my husband and I split up at that time. And I believe that, you know, the stress from that, he just quit nursing and he quit taking his pacifier at the same time. And um, right during the next month after that, I lost like 30 pounds within a month. So, you know, I bet you in, I bet you, I mean, in the whole year after I had him, I think I lost 15 pounds in one year. And that was through extreme exercising. I worked out um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for an hour. Um, I had a class that I took at the YMCA, and then on Fridays, I had an extra hour with a personal trainer. And only 15 pounds in a year, that's, that's not very good, you know. Well, I didn't work out for like the first three months, so, you know, even if it was half that or a little more than half of a year, that's still not a lot. That's not like a pound a week, which is recommended. Um, so it's kind of discouraging knowing that, because um, I want to breastfeed this one longer. So my goal is, my goal is absolutely a year and then 15 months and then 18 months. I'm not, I don't think that I want to go past 18 months, but I may change my mind after that. So we'll see. But it just discourages me knowing that I'm going to be fat for the next you know, however many months, and there's not really much I can do about it. But I'm excited about this new gluten-free diet. I, Ryder has had a rash for about the last three weeks, a terrible one. It started on his head, and it was like um, all over his face and um, down onto his chest and stuff. And he had the newborn rash when he was like a week old, and it went away. And then this one was just terrible. And it looked like, they called it the prickly heat rash, I think, but it wasn't a heat rash. And I talked to my midwife, and she thought that it was a wheat allergy. So I eliminated gluten from my diet, and today is the sixth day, I believe, and his rash is totally cleared up. And yesterday, I accidentally, I went to Whole Foods yesterday, because I had my midwife appointment, and I ordered a California pizza there, and it was amazing, it was so good, but I didn't realize that I had to specify a gluten-free, so I didn't know, and here I ate a pizza that was, um, had gluten in it, and, but it was made from, it was whole wheat and flaxseed, but still, it was, you know, wheat and gluten, and he has been extremely fussy today, so I, and I noticed a change in me. I, um, I'm not very regular, and the last four days I was very, and then yesterday not at all, so um, I noticed a change in me too, but we got um, at Whole Foods, I bought some, um, <clears throat> a few things, you know, a few little snacks and stuff to try, and I got me uh, probiotics, and then I got Brody the Rainbow Light. I don't know, they're the star vitamins with probiotics. So, that was that. I went shopping, I got a new ring sling, and I got um, myself an outfit, um, a couple of signs like to hang on the wall in my house. Um, and then I went to Wegmans. Never been to a Wegmans before either. And oh my goodness, the, all the food in there. It's so great. There's such a huge selection, and everything looks like amazing. Excuse me. It's just like picture perfect um, vegetables and fruits, and I just couldn't believe the selection. They have a whole gluten free um, aisle, both sides. That was amazing. I'll, I wish we had one there, but my midwife is an hour and a half away, so, and that's where I went shopping at. So I have to go an hour and a half to travel there. But oh, also yesterday I got to take this mom um, 100.5 ounces of milk for her baby of breast milk. So that was great. That was my first time donating breast milk 
Um, after I had Brody, I had about 750 ounces in the freezer, but it was just a nightmare trying to donate it to a hospital. It, I just got so frustrated with them, and I didn't have much patience back then. <clears throat> so I just ended up using it, after Brody quit nursing on his own, I just ended up using that and mixing it. Um, I would do like, you know, three ounces of breast milk and one ounce of, bre of whole milk, cow's milk, and wean him onto, because he was 11 and a half months old, I started weaning him onto milk, and then I just used it up that way. So he still got it, which was great, but I have a, an abundant supply this time, so I got to share it with a mom who her baby um, is about four months old and her supply just won't keep up. She's only producing about eight to ten ounces a day and she needs like 12 to 16 more ounces for him and she's having a thyroid issue so she thinks that's what the problem is. Um, she's tried a bunch of herbal supplements, nothing's really working and when she gives him formula it constipates him really bad and he just screams and fusses. He won't take the formula unless he's absolutely starving and she said that now he you know really won't even take it <clears throat> so um, he's rejecting it and it's just so it's just such a blessing to be able to help somebody out um, I'm really enjoying that I'm trying to think um, I've lost a little bit of weight I think I'm down 16 pounds now instead of the 12 so it was a little bit better, but um, I started working out. I didn't today, but yesterday and the day before I did. Um, at the six-week midwife appointment, she said everything, you know, with me was great. And she said that I look great, even though I feel like a fat cow. And Ryder is doing awesome. He nurses frequently, he sleeps a lot, he's growing a lot. He's 12 pounds, 5 ounces at 6 weeks old. That's ridiculous. He was 8 pounds, 13 ounces when he was born and went down to 8 pounds. Um, at his 2 week appointment he was 9 2 and they're supposed to gain a pound every 2 weeks. So 4 weeks later he should have only been like 11 2 and he was 12 5 so he's really grown a ton. His zero to three month clothes are a little snug on him, so I just can't even believe how much he's growing. But he has awesome um, head and neck control. He pushes himself up with his arms and he'll um, have his chest raised and uh, sitting on his elbows and just keeps it, holds his head up for extended periods of time. He's smiling and cooing like crazy. So, yeah, big brother Brody's adjusting great husband's just adjusting well. Uh, it's definitely a different baby than Brody, so it's, you know, like our first baby was just perfect, you know, nothing was ever, he didn't do anything, he didn't like pee on us, didn't poop on us, didn't puke on us, and already Ryder has peed and puked and pooped all over everybody, <laughs> so it's like, you know, what is going on here, but no baby is the same. We are just so happy. We love him so much. Uh, and I can't wait to have more. My husband is like, let's not talk about this for a long time. And I'm sure we won't have a baby for a long time. But um, I did choose not to use birth control. Uh, and I believe that I ovulated all already um, about two weeks ago. So we'll see. I had that like pain in my side. But I didn't realize how long this video is. But it's been a long time. So... I hope you enjoy the update, and I will um, be doing more videos really soon here, so I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, too. Bye, guys.